guys, welcome back to my channel in Tina's Kitchen, where today you are definitely in for a treat, and I mean that literally. We are going to be making something so delectable, so sweet, you know, that pairs so well with tea and coffee, and everybody enjoys this dessert called baklava. Now, I pronounce it as baklava. It's stemmed from the Middle East, however, it's trickled down to many cultures and appreciated by all. Um, in getting into the ingredients, you might not have these on hand. Um, I personally had to go out and get a few of them. I did have my rose water on hand, which we're gonna use to infuse with our syrup that's gonna top all over this wonderfully delectable dessert. Um, a newer ingredient that I've never used before and I'm really excited to use this is called orange blossom water. Um, the only way I can describe this, the scent to you guys is perfume. It's so pretty, it's like, jasmine-y type of smell. It's really pretty. It's gonna really pair well with the pistachios, I think. I'm also using cardamom. I really appreciate the spice in my tea. It's so pretty. It's floral and aromatic, and it's also known as hail. So uh, it's ground cardamom. We will be using it in our nuts when we grate them. In getting into the nuts, I will be using walnuts, which I've already toasted, which has really enhanced the flavor and made them a little bit crispier. So, you know, we're in for a treat here. Um, as well as pistachios. Um, I just wanna save a little bit for the topping. It's gonna be a very pretty topping, has this gorgeous green color. Uh, you're also gonna need butter, which will melt and top all over our paklava sheet by sheet. I do want to state that this is a very labor-intensive dessert, but so worth it at the end. We're going to also need sugar and our phyllo dough. So without further ado, grab all your ingredients. Please join me in making paklava for the very first time with you guys, and let's learn how to make this amazing dessert together. So the first step um, in preparing the baklava is going to be preparing the filling, which is our nutty filling. Uh, you're gonna need to use your food processor and grind your nuts. So these are my walnuts and these are my pistachios. And we're gonna bring it in with this amazing cardamom. And I wanted to save a little bit on the side for my um, decorative <laughs> element that we're gonna bring in at the very end because the pistachio is so pretty in color I want to use this nut to top off the paklava so I'm just gonna set a little bit aside for later use and then the rest I'll dump in with the walnuts and then just simply toss in our cardamom it's so pungent and floral I don't want to use too much I would say half a teaspoon at most I can already smell it I mean it pairs so well with this pistachio and then we're just gonna give it a mix and set this aside for the filling so our next series of ingredients or the next step is melting our butter which is what we're going to be using to spread onto each sheet one by one. And this is gonna give the filo dough that crispy, amazing texture that you usually find in paklava. So what we'll do is we'll melt the entire stick of butter. I am gonna be using a little bit of oil as well. Um, I, I do wanna state this is not on the healthier side. So, you know, this is something you're gonna treat yourself with. So go out all out on the butter. Okay, so now we are ready to melt that butter. Um, let's see, I'm using the entire stick. Let's just drop that in there. Um, I have the stove on for medium heat. So while this melts, I am gonna add in a little bit of oil as well. And we'll just get, give it a few minutes. The next set of ingredients we're going to need for our syrup is going to be water, which we're going to use from a cup to a cup and a half, even two if you prefer. Uh, we're going to need sugar. I have about a cup and a half here. 
We're gonna need lemon to bring in that little zest and zing of flavor to our syrup. And this is where we will be using that amazing orange blossom and our rose water. And we'll combine this over the stove and bring it to a boil. All right, now let's begin um, making that amazingly sweet and delectable syrup that tops over the paklava. We're gonna start off with our water. Um, this is about one and a half cups of water. Um, I'm making extra just in case because I do like my paklava a little bit more syrupy. And then we are going to add one and a half cups of sugar. This is where I will be using these two ingredients that um, I noticed when I watched a few tutorials, they are not used that often, it, some none at all, but um, I do really want to try this out and see you know, what we get. Hopefully it's gonna turn out great. So I do wanna use just a little bit, just for a hint of flavor. So that was the rose water, and now I want to add in the orange blossom water. Now this is so pungent, I don't think I wanna go more than half a teaspoon. Okay, let's see where that takes us. So we're gonna have this come to a boil. Once it's boiling, we're gonna add in that lemon, um, the entire thing. So it's gonna give us that balance because we have so much sweet going on. Okay, it looks like our syrup is doing its job. It's coming to a boil. I will be adding in that lemon soon. Um, I do want to get into the phyllo portion because it does need to be prepared. Um, you should leave it out of the freezer and in the fridge three hours before you know, you're going to be using it. Um, this is something I didn't know. It was on the back of the package, which was very handy. And also, um, while we assemble the paklava, you have to have it covered with a damp towel in order to avoid your filo dough from drying out because that is something you do not want. You want them to remain you know, soft and workable. So with that said, let's begin assembling our filo dough for our paklava. And I do want to mention that you do need to use, um, your filo dough needs to be cut into the mold and the shape of your dish so you get that even alignment. So first things first, we need to butter the dish on the very bottom before we place our first uh, sheet. So I'll just go ahead and do that. I'm gonna butter all around to avoid it from sticking because I really don't want that. Beginning with our first sheet. Wish me luck, this is the first time I'm doing this. Okay. Um, I have not cut my filo dough in the shape of my dish, as I said before, so let's just measure it real quick and see. Okay, so I'll probably need to cut out all this extra excess sides. So I'll go ahead and do that. So far so good, but you know, we'll see where the day takes us. Just even it out. Okay, so let's grab our first sheet. And you want to work very delicately because it's so, you know, very delicate itself. You don't want it to shred. Okay, and I think we need to do two sheets on the bottom. So we have our two sheets. We're gonna keep it covered throughout. 
and continue to butter through each sheet. We can't skimp because the butter is what is gonna give you that crispy texture and flavor to your phyllo dough. So phyllo dough and butter were made for each other in this situation. So do not skimp. package does come with 20 sheets so we're gonna do 10 on the bottom fill it with the filling and then 10 on the top so with that said let's go ahead and begin with the filling and then we'll continue through with sheeting the next 10 so I'm just gonna take that really wonderful combination of pistachios walnuts and cardamom which have infused so well together and begin to assemble in the middle of our dessert. Now it's your preference to layer it any way you'd like. Um, the way I'm layering it today, we're just gonna have one filling in the middle. Some like to do some at the bottom, some like to layer constantly as they go, but because it's my first time making it, I really wanted to keep it practical and simple and then we'll get a little bit more advanced as we go. Okay, it smells amazing already. And so does that syrup, by the way. I just added the lemon and it really brought in that rose and floral scent. It tied everything in together. It really makes sense to have the lemon in there. Okay. Good. I've already preheated it at uh, 350 degrees, but I believe we need 375 and about 30 minutes for this to cook, um, 30 to 40 minutes. So with that said, let's give this a nice cut. Um, all right, I'm just gonna dive in. And you wanna cut all the way to the bottom. baklava into the oven uh, we're gonna leave it in there for about 30 minutes um, I did go ahead and add in the lemon into our syrup as well as some honey which I did forget to mention in the intro but you do need that honey for that additional sweetness because of the lemon you know breaking that sugar and we will have this come to a boil and once we take out our amazing baklava out of the oven in its hot state we will be pouring the syrup all over it stay tuned 
All right, our paklava is ready. It's been in, okay. <laughs> it's been in for about 35 minutes at 375 degrees. I'm gonna pop it out and we're gonna put in this amazing syrup that we created all over it. Okay. Smells great. Thank you. Please like and subscribe for more videos. Bye.